Guys, it's 2024, so that means 2023 inventory is some items are going discontinued. I'm talking about Rosecraft blades. couple of their knives they're going to be discontinuing the 2023 and i wanted to try and uh inform you of some great knives that i am personally really fond of from their round one that are going into discontinue and i actually did reviews on them as well you can take a look at the description see the full review of the videos i did on these knives first off guys is the mohawk the mohawk is probably one of their toughest knives that rosecraft blades has this is probably classified could be it could de definitely be classified as a good everyday work knife it's really tough uh handles you know big to medium tasks really well and also just a really handsome very powerful edc are there any hot spots how does it feel in the hand how is the slicing ability how's the edge geometry uh how does a lock hold up a lot of these tests are also showing you how the lock holds up you know how how good the liner lock actually works. Is it gonna basically fail on you? You can see in the beginning where I was doing the hard downward throws, you know, it's uh, it held up, you know, the lock didn't close up on me or anything like that. And just to put some more stress on the edge, on the locking mechanism to see how well it holds up to these types of tests. So you could imagine if you have this knife and you need to take it to work or if you need to go camping with it, can it process wood? Can it cut camping rope or this polyurethane rope? You see, I, I tripled it there so I can get each part of the blade and it cut it with no problem. Next is the little chunk. The little chunk is a really good, it's probably gonna be the best box cutter uh, that you're ever gonna be able to get your hands on just because of the Warncliffe blade and the way it's constructed. This is a great, great cutter for everyday purposes, really solid, hugs the hand really well. I love the contour of the handle and everything and how it feels in the hand and the grip and all that. But it can also handle some other tasks if you wanted to go camping with it. It actually is a pretty good knife to be able to process wood. So, if you got this knife and you got nothing else and it's in your pocket and you need to kindle some wood or you need to make carve up some wood for a fire maybe uh make a weapon you know make like a spear out of a piece of wood which i'm trying to attempt to do slicing guys slicing right through cardboard this is all after doing semi-heavy cutting last is the adjunta uh there are others discontinued but these three in particular are some of my favorites that are going into the discontinue line but the adjunta is a very handsome knife probably uh, only one of two frame locks that rosecraft blades has and this is a really handsome looking knife very good strong frame lock system also did some you know pretty hard cutting with it and it handled itself pretty well no looseness nothing that happened to the knife it's still in pristine condition so this is definitely one another one of my favorites that are going to this continual line that you definitely want to take a look guys, at it is about the adjunta hope you enjoyed this guys and hope you would consider rosecraft blades and if if you like what you saw here i would definitely recommend this for a really good quality and pretty much moderately priced edc carry all right guys so here is a list from their website of the discontinued knives you see also there is the uh, uh, the skink, which I actually did a review on as well. The uh, OG is a very, really great knife. And don't forget about the Barra. The Barra is a really, really cool knife that I actually use on an everyday basis, especially with the tool, that screwdriver, that flathead type of uh, uh, head, on, uh, head on the pommel there. I use that on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a very useful knife. And once that's discontinued, you're not going to find it anymore. I think it's a great, great everyday work knife. And also don't forget for the fact that the prices are have never been as cheap on these knives so they really pretty much discounted them greatly i mean you could get the uh, 25 bucks you could get the mohawk the uh, pocket monster which is one of their most popular knives designed from swags is coming in at around 39 bucks so you guys you're gonna get some really great prices right now with the discontinued sale definitely jump on them if you can if there's anything you like and guys, don't forget to use my code Joe Steele at rosecraftblades.com to get 10% off of your purchase. So that's it, guys. Once he's going to discontinue line, you're not going to find them anymore other than maybe the aftermarket. But if you want to get one brand new, I just wanted to do my due diligence as a Rosecraft 
ambassador to let you know that these knobs are going to discontinue and this is your last chance to be able to get them brand new from the company. So hope this helped guys and uh, I'll see you when I see you in the next sort of knife video guys. Have a good one. Ciao.